Hey everybody, welcome back to Stamping School. I've got a fun fold and it's interactive. <laughs> it's a wiper card or what we used to call a windshield wiper card. I haven't done one of these since um, maybe 2008, 2009. I had to go back and look at an old video that I did. And they're fun to do. There's just a little mechanism in there. And traditionally, there's just one pop-up, so I'll show you how to do that. But as I was doing this one, I thought, wouldn't it be cool if the cherry could pop up? <laughs> so I made it a double. They just miss each other. Oops, they got caught there, there we go. I played with it quite a bit. It works pretty well. This is from Share a Milkshake. It's in the mini catalog that's gonna be ending very soon, May 1st, but this bundle carried over. Right now it's $44. In the new annual catalog, they will separate them as a bundle, so they'll be $49 total. So you save $5 if you get it before the annual catalog begins, but it is cute. And I hadn't used it yet, so I thought this would be fun. So when my friend Pat asked me to do a wiper card, I thought, well, I better use this one since I haven't used it yet, and we can kind of combine them. Here is what the bundle looks like. Life is sweeter with you, celebrate, you're the cherry on top, be my valentines, get all these really cute little things. The little spoon is adorable. The stamp is a two-step also, so you can two-step the two. So stamp this one on top of this one, and stamp this one on top of this one to create this little two-tone look right here. And this the little ice cream or the soda foam or whatever has a little slit in it so that you can put the spoon in there or the cherry in there, which is kind of thoughtful. I like that so I don't have to get my X-Acto blade out. That's kind of cute. There's hearts and a cherry and more little ice cream toppers. And then this waffle cone die right here. So it will fold like this. And you can put, whoops, goes folds one way better than the other way. There we go. Look how cute that is. So you can put your ice cream in there. It's cute. It's a cute little set, little straws. Okay. Oh, and this thing for our background. Um, in some of the samples in the catalog, you can see they just kind of laid it down and then put the ice cream on top. That's kind of nice. I'll probably use that for some other things. All right, we're going to do the basic measurements, basic fold for a wiper card. Now, this, these are my measurements from ages ago, and they still work for me. I know that a lot of people have different ways of doing it. I saw Lisa Curcio had a really fun video um, doing a pop-up with the, with the beer set, and that was kind of cute, and hers was halfway also, but it doesn't have to be. Um, when we started making these years ago, they were actually um, a full-size card, and then uh, things popped out the top. So I'll start there. If you have two pieces of cardstock, four and a quarter by seven and a half, and then you're just going to score one inch and two inches on the ends. And that's the basic card. Now, not the mechanism inside, but just the fold for the outside. So what I like to do is come in here and I like to keep this open. Now there's a scoring blade, of course, but then I'm up and down and up and down. So you guys know I'm impatient. So I just come in here and I just score with this or my stylus or something. Come down to the one or use my scoring board, one or the other. But you're going to score at one inch and two inches on the left side of each one. So once you do that, and you're going to do a mountain and a valley fold, so it looks like this, and you're going to do a mountain and a valley, okay, so you have these two. Now this one flips around so that you're gluing this long end to, the, to this end, and this end to this end, and this is the basics of your wiper card. So when, it, when it's glued together, and it folds down, it is a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card. So it's gonna fit in a regular envelope. So from here, you could, instead of doing a wiper card like this, you could actually do a window here and make it like a type of a diorama. There's lots of fun things you can do from here. And it folds flat, but it can make um, a pop-up of some kind, okay? Now what I did is I cut this in half. Well, I cut it down to two inch pieces. So let me show you what that looks like. I'm using Berry Burst. So I have a two inch panel and then I'm gonna use that for something else later. And that is gonna be 
my wiper card. So there's one inch, two inch, one inch, two inch. And mountain fold, valley fold, mountain fold, valley fold. So it's gonna look like this and this. Just hit pause if you're doing it with me. Just stop the video and go try it. It's really not that bad once you do it. And now we're gonna glue the long end to this folded end. So this is what it will look like. You'll have the tall folded end on this side. And really it doesn't matter. Um, this is just how it happened to turn out. So if this was on the other side, then I would just move my little Sunday over and change it or whatever. You're gonna look through your catalog and through your stamps and find all kinds of things that can pop up. <laughs> you have all the different animal pop-ups and all the fun stuff you can do with this. Okay. So this is what it should look like, your two pieces for the base of the card. You've got your tall one over here on the left, and then this one with your mountain in your valley over here. This will glue to this piece, and this will glue to this piece. And that's, that's the basic bones of that. Now, if you decide not to do a wiper card, you could just take these pieces on a piece of acetate like they are and just glue them to the inside of this and let them pop up. They don't even have to move. They can just stay popped up like a little garden or something. You can do all kinds of pop-up things with this fold if you don't want to do the little mechanism inside that we're gonna do. So let me glue my designer paper on. I am using that new birthday paper, Bright and Something birthday paper that's in the annual catalog that we got in our pre-order as demonstrators. And I this little this piece is um, two and a quarter and my designer paper is two inches. That makes it easy. And then I cut two more little pieces that go here, three quarters of an inch to fit here. You, won't, you don't have to, but I kind of like the designer paper carrying forward on it. I'm okay if the stripes don't match up. And then on this piece, I put a three inch piece of paper back here. I kept it kind of plain back there because I didn't want it to distract from my little cherry that's popping up over the ice cream. So this is three by five and a quarter. See, that might've been a little busy for the back side, but you know, you decide. This, any, any theme goes. Think of all the different animals you have that can pop up. There's just, uh, pop-ups are just so fun. My only concern is like, is everybody going to know when they get it, how to, how it works? <laughs> it might be one you have to give in person and then help them out if they don't know how to pull it. But Matt figured it out right away. I gave it to him and he pulled it, but he's kind of used to doing that with my cards to figure out what they do. So yeah, I decided to put one here also because see it's blank right there. I'll see if I like that or not. Yeah. Okay. We'll see. All right. So we're not going to see the bottom anyway. Now I'm going to take this apart and show you what the guts looks like inside. Okay, look. I know you want to see what it looks like inside. This is what it looks like inside. This is the mechanism that we're going to make. It's just a folded little piece of paper and it folds down like this and then pops up and that's what creates that little pop-up right there. So we're going to glue together just the right side panel here first. So we're going to glue together just right here, and then we'll work on the pop-up. We start that, hook these two right at the bottom, right to the edge, right there. Okay, with me so far? <laughs> so this is where we're at, and it's going to go together like this. All right, now we need to do these little mechanisms. These two little pieces here, I'm going to show you on white first so you can see. Mine are shorter. These are one by one and a half. If you're only doing one wiper card, this can be like two inches. It can be the same length as this, but not longer, obviously. And you really have to pay attention to, to what you're putting on it. You know? If you have something really big and this folds down, you don't want it poking out the bottom, but you're gonna play around with it and see what you have. But these little pieces that I used are one by one and a half. And then what you're gonna do on the corners, you're gonna fold that up from the bottom like that. So it looks like this. So just make a little corner fold. I always use my nail, but it's a good idea to use the bone folder to make sure. And I use the thick cardstock if you can. Try not to use the really thin cardstock because it's gotta hold up to all this work that we're gonna do. 
And I'm gonna use white instead of the, the berry color because I think you're gonna be able to see what I'm doing better. But you're gonna wanna use the same color of cardstock so it you know kind of looks nice. Okay, now can you see this one? So it comes right here and then folds down. So on the right hand side, we're gonna do that one first. Okay. Normally what I would do is I could line it up from the bottom up. But because these are shorter, because I want them to miss each other, so if you're doing just one, you can go to the bottom, but mine is, see it ends a little bit shorter because of the two. So this is how it's gonna look. You're gonna fold the corner down and we're gonna glue it right here. So it's gonna look like that, just like that. So we're only gonna put glue right here in this corner. Now, you can just do a little glue so that you can reposition it if you need to. This is sort of where you have to play around with it, but they should be fairly equal on each side. So see, it's gonna look like this. See that? Here's my little corner fold. Right there. That's your first one. And then we're gonna make this one about the same. This one, you want the flag to come out this way, okay? So it's gonna look about like that. So we're gonna put the glue right here on this little corner. It's gonna look like that. So this one will fold down. This is where I usually lose people because <laughs> this is, it's a little tricky. But I think if you're doing it with me, you're gonna see it's not that bad. This is what folds. This is your corner. I'm gonna do this so you can see it a little bit better. There we go, see? There. I know it's got writing on it, but so that is the mechanism. We're going to wait to add these until these are up. That way I can position the cherries and figure out where they go. Now, window sheets are also something really hard to show in person <laughs> because they're completely clear. They're a piece of acetate, pretty sturdy. I've got two pieces that are one quarter inch by about three inches. You want a little bit more just because you wanna make sure that you've got enough room. We can always trim them down. I'm gonna put them on with um, two glue dots. Two glue dots toward the end, and it's gonna go right here at the bottom. Two glue dots, just so, because the glue is harder to stick. And I'll put that right here, there. So, I don't know, can you even see that? Hopefully, well I know a lot of you guys watch this on your big TV, so you can probably see all the ink on my hands and everything. But there's my two little pop-up guys. And you can see how this wants to fold already. As this comes down, see those fold? They fold down, which is kind of cool. So now what we need to do is we need to add this across because we need to figure out where the milkshake and everything is gonna go, you know, for to decorate the front. So I'm gonna add my glue right here. And I don't wanna super tack it down <laughs> in case I have to move, get in there and move these. Just a little bit for right now. All right. Now let's decorate the front with my milkshake. I use Lemon Lime Twist and the new Bubble Bath. I'm gonna add just a little bit of glue right here and add my little foam top right there, my little ice cream soda and a cute little straw, isn't that cute? Everything two steps on this too, which is nice, even the straw two steps. I'm just gonna put this on with regular glue and I'm not tacking it down forever. I think that my, so my, my little cherry is gonna come up here, so this is gonna go here, right about there, and try not to get the glue beyond this part because otherwise you'll glue it together, All right? So when it closes, see, here's the here's my little acetate strip. Oh, this is so hard to see. I should have done it in white so you could see it, even though it wouldn't have been as pretty. Here's the little cherry. I did that in Berry Burst, and then I just colored the stem with a little brown. That's gonna go on with a glue dot. The glue dot, it's gonna go right close to the Sunday, and then we're gonna trim off that extra acetate right there. So it's gonna look like that. There, okay, now I think I can go back to white. There. Okay, so there's part of it. Now, for the cherry on top, I'm gonna to move it to this position and we're gonna add the cherry. 
sign right here. And on this one, let's see, we're gonna want it about there. I'm gonna put two glue dots. I'm just gonna grab the glue dots with my little pokey thing here. And let's put that right there. So kind of go off to the side a little, but I'm gonna just put one glue dot there for now. Okay, and then I'm gonna trim down that little acetate sheet. That's why you wanna give yourself some extra. And look, oh, it works. Oh my gosh, I love it, it works. You know, I was a little worried because I only made this one once. I tore it apart and kept working on it and I thought, could I do it again? And yes, it works. Isn't that cute? All right, let's embellish the rest of it. And look, folds flat, it's good. I used one of my, my stitched dies. We're gonna do the sentiment in berry also. Of course, I could do the blue. Blue might be nice. I'm gonna do the blue, the new Azure blue. I took the colors from the designer paper, so everything in here is, is in these colors. And I'm gonna go over to the side here, maybe right about there. And then I'll go right here, and I'm gonna trim this down. And on this one, I think I'll pop it up. I'm still loving these dimensional sheets instead of the individual dimensionals. <laughs> I just I love being able to just cut off a big piece of it and not have to peel off four dimensionals. I just love it. All right, right there. Life is sweeter with you. And I've got one more little ice cream dish. This one I'm gonna pop up with a dimensional also. This is in Fresh Freesia and a little raspberry sorbet <laughs> or something right there. Oh, we need a little spoon. I'll stick that little, we'll do a little blue spoon in that one. Okay, and then we can embellish with some sequins, which by the way, they carried over. I'm so excited. These were in the mini catalog, I think, and they are carrying over to the annual catalog. They are the pastel sequins and there's a whole big sheet of small and then a whole sheet of large and they're in blues pinks and gold i love them and they already had the adhesive on them so yay for that and they're carrying over so and surprisingly the blue is very much um you know you think it's turquoise and it's a little purple and they, they kind of have like an iridescence to them so they go with so much and i love the two different sizes now for the back of it, if you wanna write something, I just added some designer paper and a big stitch circle, stamp to celebrate, add a little banner back here so I can still write my note. And what you could do if you're worried they're not gonna figure it out, you could add a little pull tab of some kind or you could add ribbon out the sides. You could do ribbon back here, a little sprig of ribbon here that they could pull on, but I think that they're gonna get it. And remember, you don't have to do a double. You could do just one pop-up. So the length of your arm will really determine how big of a sign you have coming up. Okay, I hope that makes sense. If you try it, let me know. I'd love to see what you made with it. And we'll see you next time. See it, learn it, stamp it.